Lynchy fight! Yeah! That, that's what I'm calling the track which you just heard, which, uh, as you probably could tell, was a little bit kind of, you know, George Lynch influenced. <laughs> and why did I do that? Because I was running my Randall RM100 with the George Lynch modules in it. And how could I do that? Well, a tube amp's best friend, that's how. <laughs> this is the Two Notes Captor. Um, Captor! Captor 8! Uh, I have the 8 ohm version. It comes in 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 16 ohms. So, you know, you can match it to your, your particular amplifier or amplifiers. Multiples if you have more than one amplifier. Uh, it is a load box, an attenuator, a speaker sim, and also a DI. And it takes 100 watts, which is just awesome. I really love this thing. You know, I bought this thing to do a, uh, a recording uh, a few months ago because I was um, doing a, a recording of an amp for somebody and um, I needed a, a solution. You know, I've got a, a room at my studio which is soundproofed and I can close the doors and just, you know, run it at 100 watts. But, you know, 100 watts is really, really loud and it's just. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of volume. Now, if you're in a house, if you're in like, you know, an apartment, you really don't want to be running 100 watts just straight out like that because you know what, you will annoy people. <laughs> and you'll hurt your ears as well. So, like I said, you know, at my studio I can do it because I can mic up my cab in the other room which is through that window which you see where my finger is. and. Um, you know, and I can just run it and have the microphones, uh, hear, hear the microphone through my speakers and stuff. But this makes it really, really convenient to record that amp, which I haven't fired up for a while because, you know what, um, I've been using uh, my Blue Guitar Amp one, and also I needed to mic that one up because I haven't had one of these for a while. I haven't had a load box for a while. I have owned a load box in the past, and it was cool, it was great. I used to record with it. But with you know the uh, the emergence of um, really really good impulse responses and software like um, Two Notes Wall of Sound, which uh, you can use with this unit as well, it's just so so convenient to have a signal coming out of your amp going into something like this, a load box, and then to actually plug it straight into your audio interface so that you can record that really great amp sound, wind it up to like you know silly volumes. Uh, which you really can't do in, in a house and stuff like that and really capture the essence of the amplifier which is exactly what I did so um, this has a bunch of connections on the front and the back front back front back front back front back uh, I shall show you the back first so essentially what this does it takes the signal from your amp you plug a plug a cable into your speaker jack for your amplifier and then plug it into here. Now, why do you need to do that? Well, with tube amps, you have to have a load on the amplifier. Otherwise, smoke starts happening and um, little pops and stuff, and not good things, not, not, not really good things. <laughs> you know, you can end up really, really, really badly damaging your amp if you haven't got a speaker load on there, or, you know, um, if you haven't got something like a load box on there because what it essentially does is it takes the energy from the amplifier the energy that is the amplifier is spitting out which when you're running at 100 watts is a lot of energy and it basically dissipates it otherwise it has nowhere to go and basically it just stays in the transformer and it tries to get out of the transformer and the various circuitry in the amplifier which is why the smoky smoky thing happens <laughs> I think I've seen that one time and it wasn't really pleasant and it doesn't smell very nice either. Anyways, <laughs> you plug your um, speaker out into this unit and then you have a couple of options. You can actually go through to a speaker cabinet. Um, it also has a 20 dB attenuator on it as well, which I shall show you in a minute because it's very, very, very cool. Um, it also has a fan built into the unit so that it keeps it cool. And then on the front, yay, um, you've got a bunch of other connections. You know, the, the main connection is the XLR, which actually uh, you can connect up and then put into your audio interface. So essentially what this is doing is it's taking the signal from your amp and putting it straight into 
your audio interface. Now you can have it in one of two ways. You can have it completely raw without you know any cab simulation or anything like that or it has a cab simulator which is included as well which I shall show you the sound of in a second because I did a recording of that as well just as a separate recording. The other connectors on the front is a line out which you can use if you don't have XLR um, going into your audio interface you can just have this uh, line out coming out now this is a dry signal it doesn't have the, um, the speaker sim in there um, then you have a ground lift if you have any hum issues I didn't in fact I found this unit to be really 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 super quiet you know even when I was running my amp at kind of crazy volumes um, when I had it all wound up to, to like, literally 11 um, it, it was just silent and it was fantastic you know usually when I have the amp wound up that much you know when I open the doors to the other room there is a which you can hear through the speakers and it just happens with tube amps and stuff like that but this was like super 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 quiet um, then it has a level control uh, the uh, output level and this is really useful because it means that you can adjust the level so you have the perfect level going into your audio interface and then your DAW and uh, your recording software and stuff and you know it's not clipping it's not distorting any more than it should and stuff like that so you get a clean signal also has a phase switch on it 180 degree phase switch so if um, you know uh, the, the signals not working for whatever reason you can try flipping the phase and seeing if that works and then like I mentioned it actually has a speaker simulation built in as well now it has uh, one uh, guitar cab and one bass cab built in and the middle position is off and most of the time I use this in the off position well actually when I did the track it was completely in the off position because I was using uh, some Celestian impulse responses uh, of uh, uh, a Lynchback speaker cab wonder why I used that one for this track called Lynchy Fight <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, then it has this which is the most important thing which is a little light LED oh, just kidding. and um, then it has uh, an input for a power supply as well um, which is from 9 volts to all the way up to 24 volts so you can run it off let's say a, a pedal power supply or something like that now the reason you need the power going into this is because uh, the fan needs power to actually cool the unit down um, and when you have the XLR plugged in you can turn on the 48 volts uh, phantom power and that will run the unit um, so either way if you don't have phantom power then you can actually run it uh, via just a, a regular kind of pedal power supply um, that you have now the reason you need that fan going is because uh, when this is going it's taking all of that load from the amplifier and you know what it does make some noise in fact, I'm going to show you the noise that it makes because you know you might not have heard it, and you know people who use this for the first time might be thinking, "What the hell's going on? Is there kind of like you know a, a beehive in there or something?" So this is how it sounds. Yep, 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 that's what these things do. <laughs> you know, it's all it's doing is taking all of that energy and it's dissipating it via a bunch of resistors which are inside. Now the very, 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 very awesome, 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 cool thing about this unit is that it is a reactive load box as well. Now that means that it actually adjusts the um, impedance which is uh, which is being kind of which is going into the unit. Um, when you use a regular speaker cab, apparently there's some kind of um, you know uh, some pushback from the speakers. So although your amp might be running at eight ohms, that's actually adjusting a little bit up and down depending on how much signal is going into the unit, into the amplifier, and how much is sending to the speaker, how much the speaker is sending back, etc. So this actually emulates that. And so it feels very, very, very natural to play. And I love playing through this. Honestly, I, you know, I, I never turn on my Randall because, you know, I kind of 
just the convenience of having my blue guitar up on right on my desk and using it with pedals and stuff in my sound so I rarely use the Randall but this actually makes it really really possible to do that and you know what I'm gonna use it sometimes because this is just it makes it convenient to do and it's a lovely lovely unit to to use as well so as you saw from the uh, the track from the beginning it sounds phenomenal it really does a great job I love it um, I am going to show you uh, the built-in speaker sim now so that you can hear what that sounds like as well so let's have a listen to that And I'm back sounds pretty good doesn't it and that was the built-in speaker simulator um, now uh, I on the track that I, I actually did I was using like I said the uh, lynchback uh, speaker um, impulse responses uh, they're by own hammer and I just like the sound of them and they work really well with the Randall and stuff now like I mentioned earlier it also has a 20 dB attenuation on it now initially when I got the unit I looked at it and it was like ah there's no attenuator because I can adjust you know 20 dBs is it gonna be enough I don't really know so I did this little experiment to see you know how um, I could match the volume of the amp without the attenuator and with the attenuator it was pretty surprising and uh, this is what happened Alrighty, so I've got my decibel meter set up here it's just on my iPhone just to give you an indication of decibel levels so I've got the um, amp plugged into my 412 cab and I'm just going to play, show you the level. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got about 90 dBs worth of level there when I was playing. Now the master volume on the Randall is set at about 2 at the moment. Alrighty, now I have the amp plugged into the captor and then the captor 20 dB attenuation going. So have a look at the levels when I play now. So we're getting about the same level, about 90 dB, right? But I've got the amp at full volume now. So that's how much 20 dB um, attenuation is. 
you know, initially I thought it'd be, uh, you know, small amount, but <laughs> you know what? It's a huge amount and it's very, very, very usable. So even if I turn the amp down to half, then, hey, you know, I'm going to be able to use it um, at bedroom volume, essentially. Yep, pretty, 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 pretty cool, isn't it? At 20 dBs, it is a massive drop. I mean, I was able to run the amp at um, full power and it sounded like I had the volume at two on the amplifier, which was just awesome. Fantastic, fantastic, um, you know, to, to be able to do that because, uh, again, you know, if you're in an apartment or something and you can't run an amp at crazy volumes, then you can always attenuate it. Obviously, this isn't going to give you, uh, you know, a tiny little, uh, just one watt of power or something like that, attenuation down to that, but it does a pretty good job of attenuating the signal. So, there you go guys, my Randall's new best friend. Yeah! <laughs> Such a great little unit, a good solution if you're looking to record uh, tube amps and um, you can't run them at full pelt and all of that stuff. So, check out the two notes cap tour. All right guys, have a great day. Sub to the channel if you haven't done so already and give it a thumbs up as well. And you can find me on Patreon, Facebook, uh, Twitter, what else am I on? Instagram, etc, etc, etc. You can find me all over. I shall be back for another video really soon. In the meantime, enjoy the isolated tracks. Isolated tracks of the Captor. Isolated tracks of the Captor. I'm gonna go calm down now. <laughs> Have a great day guys, see you later.